Welcome to World Record Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Record Coup. And today's video is not brought to you by Gushers. Never too old to eat them. We are looking at Jubilation Lee or Jubilee, depending on how what you want to call her. Um, she is looking very 90s-ish. Um, I love the yellow, the hot pink, the whatever that's on her shirt, um, the blue old school boots. It just looks so iconic. Jubilee, the short shorts. Actually, it's not short shorts in today's standards, but the short 80 shorts. Got some pants underneath there. Looking good. Um, I dig it. I'm very happy to have a Jubilee in my collection. Um, I like that she has uh, glasses. Uh, mine has a minor defect here on the face, if you can see with the glue. Going to have to exacto knife that off. So that's unfortunate, but what else can you do, you know? She's got the X earrings, although they don't look very X-ish to me. It looks like they're supposed to be x but there's no X there. So that's a bummer. That is a bummer, and I think this is supposed to be an X on her shirt, too. Man, what in the world? Did I get a variant? I don't know. You tell me. Um, I like her little... Her waist is so small. I mean, they really, they really did a good job on a teenager you know, body for this one. So good job, Hasbro. This is where you should use a teenager uh, body. Um, definitely, definitely. You you nailed it out of the, you knock it out of the park here. Um, she does have some swivel on her hands up and down. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Um, this one has uh, articulation this way and that way. Uh, the the coat does hit her some of her articulation. Otherwise, she would be able to go quite, quite a bit back. Let's see. Ooh. Whoa. Um, one thing that I noticed on her one on this leg is it's very gummy. It's not moving the way I feel like it should. Because she's got really skinny legs, so that's probably part of it. So it feels kind of scary to move this knee joint. And I might just stop there. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I've, I've been finding out the more plastic that has this skin color or skin tone, the harder it is to move some of the joints so i don't like that but again it's a jubilee so i don't expect her to do too much you know i mean she's not like an acrobat or anything like that but she's got a good range of motion um oh that is ugly um that's ugly so that's a problem just now noticing this so just be careful with your back shots with jubilee uh, you might want to turn a head or something like that to hide it with the cape because this is probably the most ugliest back I've ever seen on a legend. Um, she does come with some accessories. Um, an extra head with an extra pair of sunglasses, which is cool, that you can take off. I like that very much. The bubble gum is not removable. At least it doesn't feel, feel like it is, so I won't be doing that. Um, and then she has a third pair of sunglasses she comes with. So, you know, if you want to be the Brett the Hitman heart with some of your legends, feel free to do that. Let's try taking the other head off. Uh, very disappointed with how tore up that uh that the back of the head looks. I'm just a little I'm a little uh upset about that. Um, this head goes on fine too, but she's really got a really bad lollipop syndrome. I don't know why they made her like that. Like that doesn't make sense. It's yeah, you you can see right back there. Um, she's got the lollipop head syndrome going and she's just, I don't know. I like the look without the glasses. Again, she's a nice figure, you know, I think they did a good job. I think she kind of looks Asian on here. I don't know. You'd be the judge. You guys tell me in the comments, but that neck is ugly, man. And just for scaling purposes, let's bring a few figures in so you guys can see. We got a Hydra soldier here, so you can see she's a nice little size. Small, teenager body like she should be. Um, let's bring a little bigger guy in here. We'll use the other Hydra agent. So he's about like a Colossus size, a little bit shorter. So you can get a better feel for how tall she is. Let's get a, let's, let's actually just find out and bring another teenager body in here so we can see how she stacks up. Okay, here she is holding hands with Gwen. 
She's just under six inches, which is interesting. But um, yeah, I just I just really don't like the head. Um, that's my main concern. I just don't know why they would have done that. Other than that, I think it's a great, you know, figure. And I'll probably pose her with the uh, bubble gum in her mouth on my shelf. Because um, I just think it looks cool. And once I finish this, this wave of X-Men, I might show you guys my shelf. If you guys want to see my uh, X-Men collection or my bookshelf, please let me know in the comments. And I'll gladly, uh, you know, honor that if that's what you guys want. So... Um, other than that, uh, I think she's a decent figure. I definitely think she is a bit of some issues with the head. But besides the head, I think everything is done well. Um, and minor issue with the legs. But she stands fine. She could have come with some fireworks since it is Jubilee. But if you have that Marvel Legends... Um, what is that? Dancer? Dasher? What is that? I'm, I'm naming Reindeer. Um, but... I figured her name. So that's a... I have to bring her over here. Dazzler. Dazzler. There we go. So Dazzler has this effect, and I think it looks really cool. So I think that matches with Jubilee. But then what would Dazzler have? So that's the problem I find. But uh, you can fudge it in there, and it should work fine. So thanks for watching this review. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. Um, thanks for all the new review, uh, you know, watchers and new subscribers. Thanks to all my OGs that's been here for a while. And until next time, peace and jubilation, Greece.